Stay there, buddy. We're going to have your mom sing. I'm really afraid to be up in a minute. I'm just happy to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> so appreciate the grace of God. I called Brother Fred the other day and I said, Buddy, I need some help. It wasn't just a few hours. My phone was. <laughs> <laughs> if he could have called us breath, it would have been. So he wanted to come up here this weekend. Kind of a quick notice for a bunch of our brothers, but we're going to plan on having a, having a big meeting and have a lot of our brothers come in and uh, prove this false accusation of the devil hundreds and hundreds of times wrong. <clears throat> Hallelujah. But mainly what we're going to do is have church. We have one agenda this weekend. That's to see our God walk right among us. That's all. Because we'll never prove what we are, who we are, and all that sort of thing to these people out here. What's more importantly is that he knows who we are. Amen. So we just so appreciate the opportunity and appreciate Brother Fred coming. I'm just going to have Brother Fred, if he'll come up right now and just invite whoever's going to sing. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. May I ask you a question? How many of y'all are worshipers in here? Yeah. I'll ask again. How many worshipers in here? Yeah. How many love the Lord in here? Yeah. How many knows as great as he that is in you than he that is in the world? Yeah. And the world loves it on. But this bride is a force to be reckoned with, I'll tell you that. I'll say that again. This bride is a force to be reckoned with. We will not be defeated. We will not be stopped. We are overcomers. Hello, somebody. And the devil is a liar. I love him. I love you. You may be sitting for a minute before. I feel like we got all night tonight. I'm at my best when I'm at a war. A little controversy, a little evil, a little bad talk stirs me up real good. I don't go run in a corner. I don't cow down. I get ready to fight. But the way we're going to fight, we're going to fight with love. We're going to feed the devil with love. With God's power and his grace. And we're going to show them mercy. They speak evil, we speak love. They persecute, we bless. But I promise this, we fall down, but we get up. Can the true church say amen? In the midst of us, there's a true church. Brother Branham said in the church age book, he says, Now, you got to realize, you got to know that there's two spirits within the framework of this true church. And when you can identify with the true spirit and know which one you are, you are an overcomer. You'll be not be able to be stopped. You'll be an invincible army. We don't have to be a big army, but we'll be an invincible army. So I'm going to get my niece to sing because I, I have so many great things to tell you. It's, been, it's good to be back again. It is really good to be back again. I briefly... I heard that my brother Abel was wounded. And me being the self that I am. I said me being the self that I am when I heard that my brother was wounded. 
and this be spiritual, I'm saying this now. I come to see why Abel was being hit on. <laughs> I can't call him my big brother because we're the same age. <laughs> but I can say he my big brother in the Lord. I'll tell you, it's good. I'm glad I met him some 20 years ago. And even if we had a difference of opinion, it never separated us. We never had racial problems. His children grew up with my children. His wife knew my wife. And we've been like family from the time we met to now. So regardless of what the world says, he's still my brother. And I'll be my brother in glory. I, I want to tell y'all something else that's a blessing. Here's some years ago, I had a few brothers from y'all church. I've never forgot it. They'll go with me to Mississippi. Went to the country of Mississippi and I, some of them still have one linear young, so let's give my hand, went to Mississippi his brother Kent went to Mississippi, we'll give him a hand I remember this and I can't remember what the rest of them went, but it was three or four of them when they sang, my brother Louis, he went, give him a hand and we was in Mississippi and we was locked in with the prisoners we didn't worry about color. We had one another back. They sung and I preached. <laughs> and they've been my brother since the day I met them. They haven't changed. I'm going to tell you, bride, don't change. And don't you let no bad words or what people say discourage you. That just makes us love that more. So God is good. And I'm not going to hop on that all night. We come to hear the word. Hallelujah. And let the people go into the Bible says let the heathens rage and imagine vain things. So let anybody say what they want to say. We know where we stand. Yeah. Can the true church say amen? Yeah. So come on, Sister D, and give them a song. And then they got a song request for me and Brother Donnie to sing together. I'll move my mountain, I'll let him sing, because I'm too hoarse. But before me and him sing, I'm gonna let um DeAndre Fred asked me to let her sing. So, Sister D, would you come give them a quick song? Oh, jeez. <laughs> I want to tell y'all, I'm going to shock y'all. I'm a granddaddy of nine grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> and believe this or not, come here, Sierra. Sierra is the oldest granddaughter. And Brother Donnie met me when my kids was little teenage children. Well, Donnie, I got a teenager that's 16. That's going to be a graduate from high school and college. And her name is Sierra. She's old. That's Fred's oldest. And Tammy have one. Her, his name is Christian. He just got his license. He planned on going to college. He's 16. So I must be getting old now. Y'all sing.